A very loving couple had been married for over 10 years without any children, and it was becoming their 11th year of marriage. Dave and Sarah staved with each other and greatly hoped that they could have a child before the time runs out. And they were under the persuasion and influence from their family and friends, basically telling them to get a divorce because they couldn't conceive. But they couldn't let it go because of the strong bond between them. Months passed, and one day, while Dave was returning from work, he saw his wife walking down the road with a man. The man had his arms around her neck, and she looked very happy. For over a week, he saw the same man with his wife at various places. And one evening, while Dave was returning from work, he saw the man drop her off at the house after giving her a kiss on the cheek. Dave was so angry and so sad, but he didn't speak about it with his wife. He didn't know what to say. Two days later, after a hectic day at work, Dave was taking water with a glass jug from the dispenser when the phone rang. He picked it up and the person said, hello dear, I'll be coming to your house this evening to see you as promised. Dave hung up the phone in complete anger. It was a male voice and he was pretty sure that it was the voice of the man that he had seen previously with his wife. He suddenly became shaky with the thought that he lost his wife to another man. The glass jug fell from his hand and shattered into pieces. His wife came running into the room asking, is everything okay, honey? What's going on? In anger, he gave his wife a push and she fell. She wasn't moving or getting up. Dave then realized that she fell right where the glass jug broke. A large piece of glass had pierced her. He felt her breath, pulse, and heartbeat, but she laid there lifeless. In total confusion, he saw an envelope in her hand. He took it, opened it up, and was shocked by the content that was in the letter. And it read this, My loving husband, words cannot express how I feel, so I had to write it down. I've been going to see a doctor for over a week, and I wanted to be sure before I gave you the news. The doctor confirmed that I am pregnant with twins, and our babies are due two months from now. The same doctor is my long lost brother, whom I lost contact with after our marriage. He has promised to take care of me and our baby and give us the best without collecting a single dime. I'm so happy. He also promised to have dinner with us today. Thanks for staying by my side. Your loving wife, Sarah. The letter then immediately fell from Dave's hand and there was a knock at the door and the same man he had seen his wife with came in and said, hello Dave, I suppose I'm right. I'm Max, the brother of your wife. Suddenly, Max noticed his sister laying on the floor, lifeless. He rushed her to the hospital, and she was in a coma. She had lost her twins. I know that's a tough story, but the moral of the story is we shouldn't be too quick to take any unnecessary actions in our relationships or marriage, especially when we haven't questioned our partner or spouse on what we saw or heard about them. We all have our faults. We shouldn't be too fast to judge others. Not everything you see, hear, or believe about someone is true. Always learn to control yourself under any condition or situation. I know that's a hard story and it can be difficult and I know it's a little extreme, but it got your attention, didn't it? So hopefully you can take this advice that we're giving you today and don't be too quick to judge. Lead with love and everything else will follow. God bless.